So I have this question from uh, a YouTube comment here that says, uh, my customer is requesting that I submit invoices in uh, multiple columns or with the column uh, of sales stack next to it, next to each line. Is that possible in QuickBooks Enterprise? So actually across the board, all versions of QuickBooks desktop uh, Pro, Premier, Account, and Enterprise do not have the ability to display a, a column that displays the sales tax per item. There is something similar to that, which is calculated the sales tax per item, but under each item one at a time. So I'm going to show you how that works. That's probably the closest we can get to that, Bummy. Uh, but, um, you know, but what you're asking for cannot be done. So let me show you what that would look like. So I'll go ahead and create an invoice. Okay, and I'll select a random customer here and I'm going to pick a couple of inventory items. Let's say I'm going to pick uh, this one and then I'll pick that one. Right. So I'm basically essentially selling uh, two uh, separate items and uh, there's there's going to be sales tax. Now, this one doesn't have sales tax turned on. So let me turn that on real quick. I should have checked that before I did the demo, but let me turn on sales tax. So we can show you how that works. So let me go ahead and turn sales tax on in the settings. I'm going to pick a sales tax item. That's uh, let's call it here sales tax. And we'll make this 10% and I'll pick just any vendor here a random and click. Okay. Just uh, um, QuickBooks calculates uh, some sort of sales tax. So let me go ahead and um, hit okay and get back into that invoice that I was creating just now. And now that I have sales tax turned on, there we go. So we're going to make these two items taxable make the two items taxable, and then we'll pick the sales tax down here and notice that the sales tax is all the way in the bottom. If I were to look at a print preview of this invoice, uh, you see the sales tax is calculated on the total. So the, the question is, can I put the sales tax as a separate column? The quick answer is no, but the kind of long answer is maybe, so we'll discuss that. But what QuickBooks has built in is the ability for, to, for you to put the actual sales tax under each item, not next to it, but under it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sales tax here um, and I'll remove that. Just remove that for a second. I'm going to leave it blank. So there's going to be no sales tax down here. Then I'm going to insert a line right between the two products. I'm going to insert one more just to make it a bit more visually appealing. And then I'm going to put here sales tax right under it. So basically I'm selecting the sales tax item under uh, the the item and then I'll do sales tax under the second item. So I'm going to arrive basically to the same sales tax calculation, but instead of showing here in the subtotal, it's going to show under each line. Now, if I were to click on uh, print preview and I were to see it that way, you're not going to see it as a separate column, unfortunately, but you are going to see it on a line next to it. Now, is that what you wanted? I think the answer is no. So I'm going to go ahead and click on close and then give you the other answer, the maybe answer. It's, it's going to be a bit more confusing where maybe you can use a workaround to display the sales tax next to each uh, item. So this is how we would do it. Let me go back and reverse this, delete the individual sales tax lines here, come back to the bottom and do a sales tax. So we're good to go. So now it's back in the bottom. Let's just do a print preview to check how is it being displayed? Perfect. It's now being displayed in the bottom the way the way it should. I'm going to go into my formatting, customize data layout, and I'm going to go into my template and I'm going to make sure that the footer contains sales tax. That's kind of the first uh, the first step here. I'm going to make sure the footer contains the sales tax. So the sales tax is not calculated in the bottom of the content of uh, the invoice. So we'll, we'll get there. Uh, let me go to the layout designer here real quick and make sure that my sales tax line is not all over the place here. This is a typical QuickBooks desktop thing where when you move a template around, things get a little bit uh, mucked up. So let me just fix it here so it looks a little bit better, a bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, on the template. So I'm going to do a print preview. It seems to make a bit more sense. So I'll click OK and then let me go back and do a print preview. And there we go. Let's assume that's uh, squared up in there. But there's my total. There's my sales tax. That looks great. So I'll, I'll hit close. And again, what we're trying to achieve is, let me do a print preview again, is I don't want a separate uh, line here in the bottom. What I essentially want is a column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom field 
uh, for the sales tax. Uh, although I, I've, um, I've, I won't get QuickBooks to calculate it properly, I might be able to show it and this might be useful to you. So I'm gonna go into items, item list. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's where we go. And then we're gonna double click on any item. It really doesn't matter which item you, you click on. Double click on any item to edit. And then you're gonna click on custom fields. Essentially, this is how we get the custom fields in QuickBooks Online, I mean in QuickBooks Desktop. So I'm gonna click on define fields and I'm gonna create a new field called sales tax. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on use and then where it says uh, any kind of data, I'm gonna put numbers with two decimals, basically restricting it to numbers to the two decimals. And just to simplify things, I'm gonna put here 10% as part of the label of the custom fields. In other words, kind of reminding me what my sales tax is. Now, if obviously if you have variable sales tax, don't put that 10% there. I'm doing it just to simplify visually what this would look like. And then I'm gonna click okay, okay, and okay, and okay. Right, so that was a lot of okays. So um, once I get back into my template, I'm gonna customize data layout again in the formatting tab, customize data layout. Then I'm gonna go into columns and I'm gonna enable my sales tax 10% custom field. I'm gonna enable it in the screen and I'm gonna enable it in print. So I actually have to enable it in both sides, screen and print. Because right, so basically what I'm telling QuickBooks is I want visually to see that sales tax column in there. And then I'm gonna click okay. All right, so far so good. Uh, the problem is that this will not calculate for me. This is not the default behavior of QuickBooks to do any sort of calculations on custom fields. So at this point, you would have to do the calculation yourself, right? So you have to do multiply 25, times, and I can't do calculations in a custom field, unfortunately, but I was trying to just kind of show you what you would do that. So I would have to manually come down here, do 25 times 0 0.10, hit tab, get my calculation, cut it, right, edit, cut, and paste it in here, okay? And then come down here, same thing, 66 times 0 0.10, tab, again, I'm doing that in, in an empty field, cut that and paste it in here. Now, what would that look like? Let's go to preview and essentially get you what you wanna see. Now, this is not a great practical solution uh, long-term, unfortunately, um, but it is a solution. Now, one of the problems you're gonna have is now the amount here, the column all the way to the right, that's not going to add it or subtotal it, so you may need to change uh, the, the column heading of that to something like amount, uh, let's call it amount pre-tax or something like that. So we call it amount uh, pre-tax, right? Basically just letting the customer know that this is not uh, the subtotal of it, this is the pre-tax amount. So, um, and probably, it would also probably make sense to change the order of it. So let's go back to customize data layout and go to columns and make the pre-tax amount the very last uh, amount, oh, that, that's already there, okay. So yeah, so that, that it's, it's actually there. The amount is always gonna be the last column, no matter what, and sales tax is right there next to it. So never mind. I can't change the, the order and put sales tax at the end. I, I forgot that that's a locked position. Amount always must be on the very last uh, column, okay? Well, we tried. Anyway, um, you, you may have to just make sure that the customer is looking at the total sales tax in the bottom, when looking at sales tax and then uh, assuming or understanding that the pre-tax amount is the total before the sales tax. Now you may have picked up on this uh, little quirky thing that QuickBooks Desktop has, which is, you know, what if at this point where I did create the custom fields for all the sales taxes, I wanted to also show the total of the sales tax in the body of the invoice itself and not all the way in the bottom here. So again, I'm gonna do a print preview and instead of wanting to see the sales tax in the bottom here, I wanna see the total of the sales tax uh, column in uh, the body of the invoice. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. We go to customize data layout, and then we go into footer, and then we turn off the sales tax uh, footer altogether, and then we're gonna click on okay. And then what ends up happening is when you do that, uh, automatically, because there's no place for it to display the sales tax in the bottom, I'm gonna click on preview, you will notice that it will basically create sort of a hidden line in the body of the invoice where it shows uh, the sales tax. Now, unfortunately, it's gonna show 
in where it says price each. There really isn't a, 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 a place to put it anywhere else. And it cannot put it on the sales tax uh, total here. It'll put it on there where it says amount pre-tax. So that could be confusing in itself. So it's going to be a really quirky way we're going to kind of make this work. I'm going to show you. We're going to go to close. And then I'm going to click on uh, customize data layout again. I'm going to go into the footer and I'm going to turn on sales tax again. Click OK. So it doesn't show up in the body of the invoice. It shows up all the way in the bottom in the footer. OK, so we're good there. Then I'm going to click here. It says layout designer. And I'm going to make this uh, box. I'm going to make it white. So at this point, I'm going to come in here and make this white. That way you can't see anything. So it's sort of a, a, a quirky way to hide uh, the information. So I'm going to click on OK and then OK. And then I'm going to click on preview. And look, there's no information about sales tax anywhere, just the total all the way in the bottom that is inclusive of the sales tax. Anyway, um, I'm going to click close. And then I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to create a uh, subtotal calculated field, which is only available in enterprise. Pro Premier won't do this. So I'm going to go into item code here, click on the drop down, and then click on add new. And then the new item is going to be a subtotal item. So it's a subtotal item. Let me put it here subtotal item. And then I'm going to call this one uh, total sales tax. And then I'm going to click on the checkbox that says, hey, I want this total sales tax to be the sum of my sales tax. That's really pretty much what I want. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then what that will do is it'll create a calculated subtotal just for that custom field. So I'm going to go ahead and click on preview and click OK. So now at this point, oh, something's wrong with my template. Let me just go to customize data layout here real quick and default OK. And let me go back into footer, make sure sales tax is there. Go back into layout designer. Yes, I have to do this again. Get rid of my sales tax color formatting. Make this white again. Sorry, I have to do it again, but it's fun, I think. <laughs> Click OK and OK. And there we go. Let me do a, a preview on this one. OK, there you go. Perfect. Let me hit OK. And let me bring this, uh, the custom fields again. I think I messed up here when I changed the template. So let me bring back the sales tax custom field. Hit, uh, hit OK. There we go. All right, so I got to make sure my sales tax custom field is turned on, and I have to make sure that my calculated uh, subtotal item is there. So now that you see my calculated uh, subtotal item that calculates only from that field, and I made the sales tax white so you can't see it. So even though it's showing at the bottom, it won't. When I click on preview, now I'm actually going to see it where I want to see it, which is in the sales tax column by itself separately and not in the not in the bottom. So it's up to you really if you want to hide that from there and make sure that the description in there says sales tax 10% or something like that. Now what you can also do is insert a line right uh, between it so you create sort of a natural separation. It looks a bit more natural. I'm going to click on preview and that might look a bit more natural, right? So it's over here where it says sales tax and not where it says amount. Unfortunately, I can't put it on the amount field unless we do the other um, option that we showed you, because otherwise it will change our subtotal. Okay, so there's a, a couple of answers for you, um, uh, Bami. I, it's not sexy, it's not beautiful, but there's a couple of options of how potentially you can achieve what you're looking for.